Quick update on this project. I've been working on shortening my cables and it seems like this fairly simple project has been met with a few roadblocks along the way. On the throttle cable, I noticed that the polar throttle cable had severely corroded and uh, I decided to replace that. And then on the clutch cable, I noticed that uh, it had some fraying on the clutch lever side, so I'm replacing that with a nice new cable, which is a cable from Motion Pro. Uh, unfortunately, again, I was unable to find a factory Honda replacement cable. Used did not look like anything better than I already have, and of course, new seemed to be no longer available, which is unfortunate, but that's what you get with these old bikes. However, this new cable upon inspection looks comparable in terms of quality with the original cable, although the original cable is 30 years old. So having said that, uh, being new, I trust that this is a solid cable. The plan is to finish up, hopefully, the shortened cables and then take the bike out for a test drive. All right, and the cable shortened. So if you really wanted to see me shorten another cable, just go back and check out the last last few videos because at this point it's pretty obvious how to shorten a cable. Okay, let's get this thing back on the bike. little tiny rubber sleeve it's the hardest thing to get on there we go Man, sometimes the stupidest little things are the most difficult okay so what I'm doing is just by feel Getting this snug to ensure that it will disengage the engine. That's pretty close. Probably loosen up the tent to cable just a little bit here. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to take on a quick test drive to see how the bike handles with the new cables. I just realized though that I haven't started the bike since, I don't know, it's been about five months. So it'd really be a shame to have a dead battery stop me at this point after, you know, three weeks of working on shortening cables. So I guess we'll see what happens. That's good. Bike's in neutral. So I gotta turn the fuel on here. Probably needs a little choke. Plenty of battery power, that's good news.
Okay, the ride went really well. Uh, the cables performed just as they should have. I think I've got my adjustments spot on, if not within, you know, a few, a few millimeters of comfort, if you will. Overall, I am surprised by how long this project took. I've done cable shortening before, and this was a considerable uh, hurdle to get through. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that the cables were old, and I did not realize just how nasty and worn out cables get on a 35-year-old bike. Although this project took a lot longer than expected, I definitely think it was worth it for two big reasons. First and foremost being functionality and safety. What I mean by that is that when riding, I noticed that the cables bind less and are more responsive and operate more smoothly than previously. Now you might say that's probably because I put two new cables on there, but I also believe that with the cables bending less, there's going to be less binding and better responsiveness. So, as a result, it's safer operation and more functional. Always a plus. Secondly is the aesthetic improvement. There's less cable hanging out in front of the bike, so it does look a lot better. Alright, so that's it for this video. Finally have new cables on the bike. Time to move on to the next project. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.